Or yeah, I think there's a blue iron knuckle just up ahead here. So, you know, I'm gonna put on my shield. Just because I'm that scared of him. I really am. Alright, oh. And he's really not all that bad if he has pattern now. Alright, here he is. He's gonna throw his sword at you, so you gotta... Crap. You can still use the strategy of, like, jumping at him, but... Then you're gonna have to, like... I, I don't know how to explain how to fight this guy, because I barely know how to do it myself. Basically, you hit him, and then he's gonna go kamikaze on you and just throw a bunch in a row. And you just gotta block all those. Thankfully, your shield can block these, because if, if it couldn't, then oh my god. Alright, and these guys take a lot of hits, too. Like, I'm not kidding. This guy might take ten hits here, at least. Even with my level four attack. I don't know. Alright, uh, we're not doing too bad here. Oh, crap. Of course I say that, and then I get hit. What? Man, I could never beat these guys. On my first run through of this game ever, I could never beat this guy. I, this is the spot in the game that I just got stuck, and I kept getting game overs on this one guy. I think it was because I was being too reckless. Thankfully, I got him there. <laughs> Look at you holding up a raft with one hand. What the hell is that, Link? Holding up things with one hand in dungeons. Oh, man, that's so silly looking. Actually, it looks a lot more cool than the way he holds things up outside dungeons, but... But you know what, Nintendo Capri Sun already went into that whole discussion in his Zelda 2 LP, so I don't really need to. Alright. <laughs> I like the color scheme of this whole palace, this all... this nice and dark red, this beet red. They, they made a wise decision in putting it in like a darker tone of red instead of a lighter tone, because if, if it was a lighter tone of red, then it would be too bright and it would just kill you with its brightness. Alright, yeah, you gotta watch out for these guys. Uh, they're not too bad, as long as you keep moving, and then whenever you see one, just keep on moving and just duck and hit them. They're not too bad, I guess, but... See, there you go, he just hits me, and I don't even know how he does it. Uh, he shouldn't be hitting me. He reminds me of the Chronicles of Narnia, and that, like... I don't know, what's that line's name? Aslan? I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in forever, so... Pardon me. Oh, dude. Man, I'm getting hit left and right in this video. Uh, oh, I just passed 13 minutes not too long ago, so I guess this is episode 7 now? I assume so. I was kind of hoping to stop before 13 minutes and have a proper end to the episode 6, but... Can't win them all, I guess. Alright, this room, this room... <laughs> This room killed me more, almost more than the blue iron knuckle on my first run through. Not even kidding. Because, like, you gotta go down there and get that key, but then when you're... Oh, crap. Dude, what are you doing? Or you just gotta pay attention here. This is a hard game to LP, because you have to concentrate on commentary, and you have to concentrate on the game, too. I don't know. Because, like, on my first run through of this, I tried going the other way after getting that key. I tried going to the right. And that's a lot longer of a way to get through, so don't go that way no matter what you do. Just go this way and go back over top. It's much easier. Dude, oh my god. And I'm just not paying attention to this at all. Holy crap. I wouldn't be surprised if I died here again. I don't want to die three times in one palace, though. That would just be stupid. Oh, ah, man, that was close. <laughs> Almost got hit by those guys. All right, and down the escalator, e elevator, not an escalator. Down the elevator we go. And, oh, we got this guy. This fuck. You fuck. Oh, Smee, Smee, please try to stop me, Smee. All right, let's get up here. And get that. Uh, I think there's a blue, I I'm going to put on my shield. Oh, it's not a blue iron knuckle, it's just a blue guy. <laughs> I guess it's easy to get those confused. They're both very annoying. This guy's not nearly as bad, though. I know I died to him before, but... That was just me being an asshole. Okay, there we go. And even with the jump spell, that, those guys aren't too bad to fight. Oh, this room. This room? This room is gonna give you so much grief, because we got a blue iron knuckle there, and he's in a closed corridor. So that's very bad. But at least I get to show off that you can still use that, like, jump and hit strategy even when, the, like, there's no room to jump like this. Basically, what you want to do, and I might have explained this already before, is you gotta slide between... Uh, is that the A and B button? I think so. You gotta slide from the A button to the B button with your thumb. There's my attack going up. That's pretty good. Oh, man, look, I'm so dead here, though. 
I don't even have a, I don't even have enough magic for a shield, let alone like life. Holy crap! If I manage to survive this, this will be great. All right, can I get up there at least though? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh no! Crap. Uh, there we go. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, you gotta slide your thumb like right across, just like that, and you should be able to do that little jump and stab thing. I don't know. It's hard to explain unless you're actually holding the controller yourself, so... Okay. Uh, I don't want to deal with that blue iron knuckle, but is there a way that I can, like, make so that he doesn't get my attention? I need him to be off-screen when I go down this. Oh, he's not gonna go over there, is he? He's not gonna go far enough over. Holy crap. Alright, we're good. Oh my goodness, yes. Alright, that's sweet. I was totally expecting to die that guy. I could go fight that blue iron knuckle, but I don't trust myself. Not on the life that I have? No way. Right. Oh, boy. We got the boss here now. Oh, this is... <laughs> Deja vu, anyone? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm not going to pull off any incredible victory like Tim did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm probably going to die here, but I'm going to give it my all. I, I will. Yeah, so here's the boss. This is the Blue Iron Knuckle. I'm not exactly sure of his official name, but basically, this is the strategy. This first part's not too bad, because you just got a downward thrust on his horse like that, and generally, he won't hit you. But after this next hit here, I think he's going to get off his horse, and he's going to become an actual Blue Iron Knuckle who's going to throw his th sword at you. So, be you got to be very careful now, and, oh my goodness, no... <laughs> Okay, let's... God, I'm so nervous here. Crap, oh, 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 man! <laughs> I got one hit off on him there, but oh well. Man, that would have been so awesome, oh my god. If I could have just beaten him in that little life, oh well. Well, let's put on my shield now. Now that I have the ability to use it, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use everything in my arsenal to beat this guy. <clears throat> Sorry I've been playing so suckily during these... Like this recording these past two episodes, episode six and seven. Oh, I just haven't played this game in a long while, actually, so I'm a little bit rusty here, but I'm starting to reaccumulate my skill. I honestly think that palace number three is one of the harder ones, though. So, pardon me for dying so much. Dude, what the hell? I just landed right on his head like that. All right, careful here. Okay. Yeah, basically, after you've done. Wait, how is- oh. For me, I was like, how is his health all full up? But yeah, his health does get, like, filled up like that when you knock off his horse. I forgot about that. Alright, dude, this guy's not gonna stop throwing his knives. What the hell? This guy tends to throw his knives a lot more frequently than a normal blue iron knuckle, which I guess is fitting since he's a boss. But, yeah. When he throws them low like that, that's probably when you want to jump over and try to hit him. Dude, don't go off screen. That's the annoying thing about this guy, is that the screen doesn't scroll, so you can't actually follow him. And he will go off screen like that, because he tries to stay a certain distance back from you. So then you gotta go back, and that leaves yourself vulnerable, because you're turned around, and your back is facing him. And you have no way to block it if he throws one at you. Okay. There we go. Oh, I got him! Yes! Sweet! I was actually more... I was afraid that I was going to die there again. Because normally I die a lot to that guy. He's probably the boss that kills me the most, besides the final boss. And there we go. That's palace number three, bitches. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, oh at least I didn't yawn. <laughs> there we go. And we got our magic level up. Not bad. Not bad at all. What are we up to? 20 minutes. I got So I got like six minutes here to go. What can I do in six minutes? Well, I can fight this guy. <laughs> this guy is this battle going to take me six minutes to get through this encounter? I don't think so. Not with just three worms. Annoying worm! <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we're just going to head off to like the next island now, because, yeah, palace. The next, all the other palaces are on like another entire island than the one that we're on now. And I know that sounds completely weird, like, what the hell, man? But if you remember, we did get a raft as our treasure in Palace Number 3. And what do you do with a raft besides sail it? I don't know. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Thank goodness you don't take 
fall damage in these games, otherwise I would have just died right there. Oh man, I did that so sloppily. I practically just want to re-record- what, what? Wait, did I just find, like, a spot? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I've never found this spot, that's cool. Alright, well, there we go. Oh, there's enemies here too, these are not strong and Dude, they're not strong enemies and then you get hit by them. Freaking bots. So there you go, there's a spot that you can, I guess, heal up your magic if you need to. I don't know, I never knew that spot was there. Mm. Man, yeah, but part of me just wants to re-record this whole thing because I did so badly in that. But that's not a reason to redo it, I guess, so we'll just stick with it. Alright, here's the new land, and the enemies around here are a little bit tougher. These guys aren't so bad, uh... Really just want to stick to the downward thrust with them, that's what I normally do. You gotta wait for their eye to be open, naturally. Because as every Zelda fanatic knows, you can't hurt a closed eye. It just doesn't work. <laughs> the eyelids are the ultimate armor. Okay. Uh, what was in here again? Oh yeah, there's a pee bag. Jeez. I just went right back in. I was like, wait a minute. Was there anything in there? Did I miss it? No, I didn't miss it. You just <laughs> forgot to mention it when you got it. Dummy. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, you can't actually hurt these guys right now, so don't even bother. You can try to stab them and it won't it won't do anything. You actually need a spell that we're going to learn right here in order to hurt them. What town is this? Let's see. Welcome to Naburu. Cool. Are you Naburu? I cannot help you. Well, <laughs> okay. That's fine. I don't need to help you. Why don't you just go home to your husband or whatever? Or to your grandpa? No, I don't need magic healing, never mind. <laughs> now I feel bad for making her go in there and wait for me when I'm not even gonna go in. All right, oh, here. Uh, do you need anything? You do. I am thirsty. Oh, well, let me just fix that for you. Let's go over to the fountain and get some water. Wants to get some water? Who's talking to there? There. <laughs> Is it the fountain talking to me? All right, here we go. Couldn't you just, like, gone just a few steps over and gone that water yourself? Are you really that dainty? Oh, because I feel sorry for you if you are. Oh, we're probably gonna end this video off here pretty soon. All right, but here we got our fire spell, which is probably the most useless spell in the game. This magical shoot, make a short suit, sword, shoot fire. It sounds kind of useful. It's like, oh cool, I gotta shoot fire, and it's only 16 magic too. But it's really not that useful. It does allow you to hurt those uh, blue enemies. You know, the blue ones, like the blue spider we just encountered earlier, that we couldn't hurt with our sword. The fire will hurt them, so it's gonna be basically your method of hurting those guys. But for the most part, you don't even really need to use it most of the time, because there are other ways to get by. And I guess I'll heal up here quickly, and we'll end this video off on full life and magic and everything. And we got five attack, six magic, and six life. Ain't it a beautiful thing? No, I didn't even go in. What? Dude, there's a bat up there. Can I talk to it? Can I kill it? Whoa. Okay, that's weird. Oh, whatever. What about you? Uh, the river devil eats those who are weak. Oh my god. <laughs> who is this river devil we hear of? From the fat lady. All the fat ladies will talk about the river devil. Just FYI. We'll find out about the river devil next time on Let's Play Zelda 2. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, and I'll see you guys next time.